Ari, it's time for part three of the Who is Donatello story. This is the final part. This is Tiny Titans 25 by Jason Fabergé and Paulie Pellet Gun, as well as a bunch of other artists that they have dragged in to mark this occasion. We have got Jorge Pere, we have got Wallace Gromit, uh, we've even got Mark Wolfenstein writing a bit. As promised, here are the three covers side by side. They create a piece showing Donatello through the ages. I'm happy to say that there is absolutely no problem with combining them together. There is no gaps or misaligned parts. A good example of this is Green Lanterns, the Kyle Reese version. It was placed in between the second and third cover. On a technical front, they are done perfectly. If you are a big fan of the character, you should like this. I think it is a nice piece, but I am of the mind that I think the covers are better split apart, reflecting times of her life. It doesn't really work for me having three Donatellos in different costumes up front on each section of a bigger image. This will take a while. We have got a lot of characters to cover and this issue is extra sized. The plot becomes quite complicated. But at the minute what we have is a baddie called Dark Angle. She has erased everyone's memories of Donatello. First we have a scene with the Justice League. As Green Lanterns, the Kyle Reese version. He is telling the Flask, the Willie West version. About how Donatello came up to him the night before. And claimed that they knew each other and that they were lovers. But how he has no memory of her whatsoever. But the Flask, Willie West, he does remember Donatello. So he rushes off to the Tiny Titans' base. But he is too late as they have already left on their mission to attack Dark Angle. We have an Andy recap of our plot so far. The Tiny Titans, they didn't remember Donatello anymore. But then the Tiny Titans from the future showed up and they wanted to help Donatello. So the two teams joined forces and they went off to stop Dark Angle. So now we are in Dark Angle's dimension. Uh, there isn't any explanation for why Willie West remembers Donatello though. So the Tiny Titans and the Tiny Titans from the future, they are fighting loads of evil demons and monsters and stuff like that. I've not really had a good chance to gun out of the two teams and who is who. So rather than waste time here, just gun and watch the other videos on the last two issues. Dark Angle, she really hates Donatello. She wants to erase Donatello's existence so that she can step in and replace Donatello in the makeup of the universe. Donatello, she has a very complicated history, mostly because they keep changing it. They keep retconning it or introducing new ideas or trying to explain stuff and give her a definitive origin. -y. This story is like the 20th time they have tried to clean up a backstory. I think this might also be the last time. I don't think they ever tried again after this one. So that means either this one was successful in resolving all the issues or it did such a bad job that nobody wanted to try it again. I didn't know, I didn't know much about Donatello and most of what I do now is from this. So here we begin with our revised history. Our here is by Jorge Pere. It gets very confusing. They didn't quite tell us Donatello's origin, and instead they tell us bits recontextualizing her pre-existing originies. And if you didn't know all the different 
backstories. You can easily get lost with this stuff. I think the idea implemented here is to try and draw a line through them, to try and link them all and sprinkle a narrator around why Donatello went from having one origine to another. Uh, Dark Angle, she was involved in a lot of it. She kidnapped her and stuff like that. So then we start a sequence with Dark Angle going into different periods in time to kill Donatello. Like here we have the Silver Age, Tiny Titans. Then after that we have got the Mark Wolfenstein and Jorge Pere Tiny Titans. Uh, this is where we reunite our creative team for this scene. Uh, there's some stuff about her originally back in those stories. And Dark Angle, she attacks again. We get to see the classic Tiny Titans fighting against her. I'm starting to feel like I have run out of commentary to provide on this issue. It's all good stuff. It's just not necessarily notable unless you are well read on Donatello's appearances in these Our Tiny Titans books. Uh, Wallace Gromit on R here. This is the 90s Tiny Titans. And what happens is Dark Angle. Again, she arrives to try and kill Donatello. But Acro Girl and Acro Man Jr. They also show up in this past to stop her. We've been seeing that in the other time periods too. The heroes, they travel back in time to stop Dark Angle. Because what will make Donatello's originally more easier to digest is time travel. Tez Dodas on art here. And this is when Donatello and her husband split up. And would you guess Dark Angle, she shows up. Next, it is a funeral of Donatello's son. In the main universe, her son died. And obviously, Dark Angle is there. And we get to see Green Lanterns, Kyle Reese and Wonder Woman. We get to see them fight Dark Angle. So that's a nice bonus. Uh, and this is the one where Dark Star is going to show up. Because Dark Star is Donatello's son from the future. Except not dead. Uh, there's also a little subplot about Donatello being trapped and the flask Willie West saving her is not really worth getting into. So the Tiny Titans, they have stopped Dark Angle from her time travel escapades. Meanwhile, back at Tiny Titans Tower, there's all sorts of reality warping shenanigans going on. And look at how many different versions of Red Arrow's daughter have shown up. I bet after Cry for Justice, Red Arrow wishes that he had kept some of these alternate versions around. There is some dark comedy for you. So now we begin our final fight with Dark Angle. Even though all her time travel stuff failed, she somehow has become more powerful from it anyway. She just like waves her hand and the tiny titans are easily brushed away. And then she's about to kill Dark Star until the flask shows up and saves them. And now it is Donatello versus Dark Angle. And somewhat anticlimactically, she defeats her rather quickly because the story has to end at some point. The Tiny Titans of the future, they return to the future having accomplished their mission. And as they leave, Nightstar, she calls Dick Grayskull a dad. And our end is a surprise party for Donatello. And we've got cameos from a bunch of our Tiny Titans members. We've also got one last bit of continuity fixing up here. Appearance there from Bart Simpsons. And down here is Pratt's son. And loads of others, but I'll tell you who is absent from the party. The Jokers' daughter, the most important of all the Tiny Titans. It's hard to really assess this one because, in general, 
I didn't have much awareness of everything that it is doing. This seems like a solid job at trying to smooth over the edges of Donatello's origines, but I didn't know if they work or it invalidates some stuff because I really didn't know the character or any Wonder Woman mythology. This part of the story, it feels a bit disjointed since the references and the callbacks to past Tiny Titans runs, they didn't mean much to me and that element, it was only brought in for this issue. In essence, this is a nice celebration of the team and the character's history, but a lot of that stuff I just have to assume is done well. I like it, I just didn't know if I am correct to like it, so I'm only giving it 7 thumbs up.